Megan, thanks so much. Well, let's take a look at sports now. Two teams from Central Texas made their way to the state basketball tournament in San Antonio this week. And for both, it was a program first. Yeah, Temple unfortunately lost, but Marlin is headed to the state championship game tomorrow. Curtis Quillen is in San Antonio and joins us this morning with details. Good morning, Curtis. Well, good morning, guys. Central Texas has already left its mark on the UIL State Tournament here inside the Alamo Dome. Marlin clinched a spot on championship Saturday with a win in this afternoon's semifinal. In the nightcap, though, Temple would fall in the semifinal, finishing off what was the best season in school history. The eighth-ranked Tempcats faced number four Amarillo in the semifinals. After going into the half down just one, a drought in the third quarter would plague Temple. The Tempcats scored two points in the quarter, both on free throws. Amarillo seized control at that moment, going on to win 48-34. After the game, Temple coach Tamara Sanders thanked her four seniors and praised Amarillo's stout West Texas defense. They've turned this program around and to go down as one of the most successful teams um, says a lot about them, but you know, I know that right now they're feeling it. Um, I don't think we played our best basketball, but I'm not going to take anything away from the Sandys. I think they came out and played great defense. Meanwhile, Marlin handled the Cobras from Vanderbilt Industrial with ease. Marlin took the lead just over a minute into the game and they never looked back. The Bulldogs dominated the glass, out-rebounding Industrial 47-34 with three players in double figures. After the game, Industrial complimented Marlin's speed and intensity, and Coach Lawrence Gallette from Marlin said, it's just what we do. We played that way all year, though, you know, um, as far as developing the lead and then and just kind of, hey, sticking to our guns, sticking to what we do. Definitely not, you know, shying away from scoring the ball. You know, some teams get a lead, and I found that um, through my experience that they start playing not to lose versus continue to win. Temple finishes its season at 32 and 6 with the best finish in program history after its first appearance here at the state tournament. Meanwhile, Marlin, they're back in action on Saturday against Mount Vernon, who before they dropped down the Jumbotron, upset Brock in the other 3A semifinal. That tip off is scheduled for 10 a.m. right back here inside the Alamo Dome. In San Antonio, Curtis Quillen, Channel 6 Sports. Well, best of luck to Marlin. We'll have all the highlights tomorrow on Weekend Edition.